Tonight, the Midway ISD School Board will vote on whether to expand the district's randomized drug testing program. The expanded testing pool would include the district's student drivers. Curtis Quillen is live outside the district's administration building. And Curtis, how many more students does this proposal include? Doug, the new policy, if passed, would add about 300 students to the district's drug testing pool, which previously only included students involved in extracurricular activities. Now, the district's safety and health advisory committee previously presented this proposal to the school board, and it will go for a vote tonight. District spokeswoman Tracy Marlin says this is designed as a way to be proactive in spotting any red flags to avoid school safety issues down the road. She says there's no no evidence of a drug or parking issue in the district. Now that said, Marlin says being able to help further student safety in Midway ISD would mean two major things. For one thing, we don't want people under the influence driving cars around 2,500 of our kids. But for another thing, it's a way for us to expand the reach of the program to help more students. Marlin also said this is not designed to be a punitive program and students who are caught by the program would go through a counseling program instead of a punishment. Tonight's school board meeting begins at 7 p.m. here behind me at Midway ISD's administration building off of US Highway 84. For now, live in Woodway, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 News. Doug. All right, Curtis, thank you very much. And as you see the question at the bottom of the screen, it's the topic of today's question of the day. You can log on to our app, the Channel 6 app, or kcentv.com slash vote to take part in the live voting. We'll share the results coming up at the end of the show.